Alrighty ho everybody, um, it's Lucium Total War time, isn't it? Well, we're playing as the Safavid Persian Empire. Uh, we just killed off the Georgians. They didn't even put up a fight in the end. They just gave up. We're going after the Kazakhs up here. Uh, we can't even find all their territory. They are very dispersed. Um, and it's probably an intern, isn't it? So that's convenient. Oh, you were supposed to go and talk to the... Uh, British ambassador. We saw one of them moving around. Alright. Because uh, I don't know if there's a land bridge to get to Britain. I'm not even sure if in this version there's a Britain, uh, Scotland, Wales or Ireland. Well, there's definitely the bridge. And if there's no land bridge, then we're going to have trouble contacting them. Unless, of course, they have territory on the mainland. Now we've got a diplomat who's about to move into um, southern Iberia, southern Spain. And then another diplomat who's wandering around in the deserts of um, Soviet Central Asia. Probably somewhere in modern day Uzbekistan. Uh, could be Tajikistan, could be Turkmenistan, could be Kyrgyzstan. Could be Kazakhstan. There are five Soviet Central Asian republics. But this is where he is. That's where he is. He's looking for somewhere for us to invade. You, sir, are going to put in some more watchtowers. That's your job. Good. I want to see all. Ah, we're now out. So, we know that there's something out here. We're trying to find out if they actually have a port anywhere around here, but again, no. There's literally no indication of where these rebel settlements are, which is very odd. Normally you would expect there to be. Right. <clears throat> so you're going to blockade them. Fine. You're going to come there and pick up troops. Right, you're at full strength. We've got lots of troops in here. Lots of cavalry already. Those are all at full strength. And then we've got a couple of generals who are going to come on in there. Ah, oh, we can't even retrain any of them. Right. Who just took over? You. You've got a siege engineer. You've got astrologer. Don't think you're the one I want in there. Although you've got a biographer. Alright. The other ones. You don't have loyalty. But you do. Alright. See if we've got something we can pass over. Apparently not. Master Smith. Uh, yeah, that would be useful. Apparently we can't try and pass those ones over either. Right. We're going to have to find somewhere for you to get retrained. Probably end up being there as well. Uh, we've got lots of units in there, but they're not that happy. Right. Where can we send those? I'm not even sure if they can get free upkeep in there. Hmm. Maybe they can. Alright, so there's my emperor. He's been building some watchtowers. He can pick up some units from around here as well. Right. See if we can find that British diplomat. Uh, he's managing to stay just ahead of us. Persians. Ah, we got lucky, there's the Spanish. 
Map info. Oh, you're not getting that. I'm not even sure if Portugal is in this. Spain, obviously. See, there is a land bridge for us to cross over. And we've got some spies. Who seem very laggy. Right, we've discovered another port there. Right, that, that's Kazakhs. Right, but we haven't discovered their territory. They must be over here somewhere. Upgrade that one. Whose fleet is that? Rebels. Alright. Might need somebody to defend this one. That will be able to defend it. No problem. Alright. Yeah, it's not looking like we're getting any free upkeep units, is it? Shame. And there's a spy as well. So those two have moved. Ah, you can actually build a naval base because yours got destroyed. No one's already upgrading. See if everyone's happy. Relative, Lee. Now we have to relocate all of our armies up into Kazakh territory. Does anyone know how long the Safavid Persian Empire was around. Um, the last Shah of Persia was dethroned back in 1979, wasn't he? Uh, was he related in any way to the Safavid Persian Empire? Or not? Don't know. Hopefully somebody will tell me. Well, at least we have two ports on the Black Sea, and hopefully we're getting some trade through that into the Mediterranean. But having a Mediterranean port would be very nice, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Keep on moving. They don't move very quickly. The road networks are not particularly good. I'm not even sure if we can catch up to him. He's, he's just getting away from us, isn't he? Always staying ahead. Alright. Uh, who's that? Princess. Good. Ah, Kazakhs at war with the Russians. Good, good, good. Ah. I just lost a diplomat. There he is. Envoy, and I lost the missionary. Prepare it to Greece. Oh well. There's a missionary. Do we even get an envoy? Because we're going to have to get all the way there. You'll have to come over here. Right. I see we've got an unhappy settlement. Ah, there it is. There's a settlement. Right. Right. 
right, let's get those ones out as well. Those are regular troops. And you need to pick up some uh, troops as well. See if we can get them all out. Those are the best ones we have at the moment. Right. Ooh, we went into the red there. Ah, blasted. We can get it to 70. That might be okay. Might just be enough. How's the religion? Still 25% unrest. Alright, the Ottomans have a settlement up here. Why? Do they start with that one? Or do they capture it? Interesting. There's a Russian one. Interesting. What happened with that one? It got upgraded. Innovation. Right. Oop, some more rebels have popped up. Let's get them to grow as well. We'll try to. Alright, let's see if we have any problem at Trabzond. We're going to need another general to keep dealing with rebels, it looks like. Alright, we've got 6,000 in corruption. Uh, there's some Russians heading for Sarai Juk. Wonder what the English name of that would be. Oh yes, it's been besieged. We might not even get up there in time. But it looked like the Russians took some damage, didn't they? And the garrison is actually bigger than the Russian army now. But it looks like a good settlement to have. Yeah. What I'm going to do... Um, how close can I get them? If we move them down... How big is your army? Quite big already. Now, you've only got one, and you've got many. Uh, the risk is that you will go rebel on us. Uh, let's send both of them. Move up. Leaving uh, room for two more infantry. Because we've got a lot of cavalry in there. Don't even think we can retrain those ones anymore, can we? I'm sure there's somewhere where we can retrain them. Oh, no, they're still in the red. Still at 70%. Alright, what are you going to have to do? Get some to the blue. You know, we'd better make sure of it. Yeah. You will move. 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 Alright. What is the Sultan's wish? We move, Sultan. 
He's going to get very bored walking around that desert. There's still no indication where those rebel settlements are. Can you spy on him? Ooh, Finnish Royal Drafted Infantry. They're a long way from home. I'm sure they're having fun out there where it's rather hot. But then again, it does get hot actually in Finland. Um, right. That's a main road there. Uh, have we been blocked? Uh -uh. Alright, there is not um, a land bridge there, so we have to look for the British. If they're on the mainland. This army will have to proceed up there. Got the Emperor, he'll come with a second army. Yeah, we don't even need that. Naval war base. spy. <clears throat> oh, that fort very effectively blocks travel down here, doesn't it? On the coast. Right, Eastern Home Guard Militia. Oh, the Ottomans have a second settlement up there as well. Okay. Well, at least the Russians are active. Uh, we're, we're allied to the Russians and the Ottomans, so they can't be at war with each other, can they? Oh, there is a land bridge there. That's useful. That's the Kerch Strait, isn't it? We'll take him out. No, they got reinforced. This major road has to go somewhere. Oh yes, we'll see many things from there. Right, so you've got a full army, let's get you moving. I don't know if we can get up there in time. It's going to hold for eight. We can draw the Russians in if we're lucky. Right, you, 
Now there's lots of uh, loyalty, but why do you have a Protestant revolutionary in there? He's actually got, well, semi-decent piety, but he's got a Protestant revolutionary, a plus one in progressiveness, sneak their ways into Catholic, Islamic and Orthodox courts to try and convert leaders. Sometimes they can be found clinging to already Protestant leaders. Interesting. Right, he'd actually be a good one to have out though, wouldn't he? Um, right, if I take him out, no, we're not losing much. Those ones going. Now they all look like they're at full strength. So we'll get those ones. I'll send a couple of those down as well. Yeah, there's no free upkeep apparently. He'll have a full army fairly soon. Right. <clears throat> Keep you moving. I want to find out if Portugal's in there or not. I could just look at the diplomacy, couldn't I? Oh, that princess has moved as well. Alright, just head for the settlement. Ooh, what are you doing up there? What are you doing there? Hmm. Yeah, not happy about having him there, that army. That's the Khalidi, or Khaliji, isn't it? Bedouin swordsman, Bedouin light. Isn't that the one from down here? No. What are they doing up there? Who are they at war with? Right. Hungary, Savoy, Genoa. Venice, Genoa, Papal, Bavarians, Cologne, Westphalia. Sea of Portugal is in there. Not seeing it. Alright. Maybe they're an emergent faction? Who knows? Alright. Now that's the Arabian one. They are at war with the Ottomans. So I guess that's what they're doing coming up. Hopefully they don't draw me into a war. But we've got our first army sailing off to go after the Kazakhs. And soon our emperor will be sailing off as well. And then we'll have that general from the east who's building watchtowers. He'll go and form up an army as well. I mean, it is 1726, so you would expect Portugal to be around. Uh, they weren't in the Iberian Union. That came earlier, didn't it? So maybe they're an emergent faction. But of course, they had their own empire at this time. That's good. Showing up at Tehran. Good. 
Right, you can actually go and pick up some more troops as well, can't you? Ah, they saw off the Russians. Alright. Okay, just outside. Oh, is that a second one? Second rebel province? No, it just says wilderness, doesn't it? Maybe there's no rebel settlements out there. Who knows? Right. Uh, you're going to need a ship, aren't you? Best time you're in a Zebek. Oh, that's the rebels there. Right. Let's see if we can find anything out there. They're coming from somewhere. Right, maybe somebody has that. Nope. Still in rebel hands. Ooh, Holy Roman Royal Pikemen. Those are cool. Holy Roman Fusiliers. Hussars. That's a nice looking army, but for anyone playing in this area, you better watch out. That's a strong force. Alright, that will not easily be captured. Ah, we've got two new generals as well. One at Istarka. Minimize that. You can go and build some watchtowers as well. While he's over here. Moving around. And then you can come back over there. Be on the front lines. And another one up in Gorgon. As you will. You shall see all from here, Sultan. We march. As you will. Continuing tomorrow, mighty Sultan. The sun sets for today's journey. All right, full stream. Full strength. Keep more moving. Right, nothing else to build there. No, we don't really need that. Although it does help with law to a degree. Uh, still around 6,000. Ah, why don't you get a ship though? Uh, it's only a light galley though, isn't it? Or uh, well, we could get a Zebek there. And then you won't need to get a Zebek. At some point we'll own most of the uh, Caspian and then we can reduce our fleets.
now we go on the offense against the Kazakhs because we had to defend one of our settlements several times against them. Uh, I think it was Gorgon. And that is not where you get Gorgonzola cheese from. All right, Ottomans, do not break your alliance. If we need their territory for victory, they might need some of ours. Oh, did we fail in the mission? Apparently. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure where that settlement was. Well, there's a road. Ah, there's the British envoy. So we did finally catch up to them. Uh, that's good for me. Should keep them off my back. Suppose we could put one in over there. Just for the fun of it. Right, you must get on the ship and sail up there. Be a lot quicker. Now you can transfer those over. And get back. Those extra troops will probably have them used to go after the rebels because we can't really retrain them except up at Kutaisi. Yep. And why have you gone upset? Did we lose a general? Yes, we did. Right, those uh, Egyptians are moving around, going after the Ottoman territories. And I guess that's where we'll end at this one. And we something in uh, the Ottomans have the Crimea as well. All right, that's just weird. <laughs>